Kimono, Revival of the Tradition. Japanese used to wear only kimonos up to 150 years ago. People gradually started wearing Western clothing, and today, Western style dress has become commonplace. But even today, the kimono is popular as formal clothing. Babies are often dressed in kimono on their first visit to a shrine, and at the Shichigo san festival, many children are dressed in kimono. You can see many women wearing kimonos, especially at the beginning of the new year. On coming of age day, university graduations, wedding, funerals, tea ceremony classes, and flower arrangement exhibitions. This is a photo of my son and his fiancée wearing kimonos on this year's New Year's Day. They visited a temple called Shibamata Taishakuten to make wishes for New Year. This first temple or shrine visit of the year is called Hatsumode in Japanese. By the way, there are several types of kimonos, such as furisode, tomesode, uchikake, yukata, and so on. You may have a lot of chances to see many young women wearing kimonos with long sleeves at the beginning of the new year and on coming of age day. This kind of kimono is called furisode and only unmarried women wear them. Married women wear kimonos called tomesode. A kuro tomesode, which means a black tomesode, is a kimono with designs along the bottom of the skirt. And it's worn on a ceremonial occasion, such as a wedding ceremony. The most gorgeous kimono is the uchikake worn by a bride. When a bride wears an uchikake, she usually has her hair done up in traditional Japanese style. This uchikake, made in the 18th century, has bamboo and crane design and features an elegant combination of regis dyed and embroidered patterns. A yukata is a casual, single-layered cotton kimono, which is usually worn in summer. Yukata used to be worn as a kind of bathroom when you spend a time after bathing with other people. However, people started to wear yukata when they go to informal events such as summer festivals and firework displays in the Edo period. So today, we wear yukatas when we have traditional summer events such as bon odori, fireworks, and festivals. I'm surprised by the fact that the number of the young who wear yukata for traditional festivals has been remarkably increasing in the last 10 years. Now, yukata is fashionable wear for the young, especially for enjoying summer festivals, viewing summer fireworks displays, and attending bon odori dance. Generally speaking, young people today tend to return to Japanese tradition. Several consciousness investigations indicate this tendency clearly. They seem to value traditional culture more than mass consumption and economic wealth. For example, according to a certain survey, 20s have taken a growing interest in Japanese traditional spiritual culture and shrines and temples in those days, more remarkably than 30s and 40s. Wearing yukata for traditional festivals seems to be one of the expression of this tendency. At the same time, the number of the young ladies who wear kimono for going to famous shrines and temples is increasing. Of course, the number of foreign tourists who wear rental kimono is also notably increasing. 
the demand for kimono rental has been increasing around famous tourist spots that have all the shrines and the temples, and the kimono rental shops are increasing. And in this reason, it's getting easier for Japanese young ladies to wear kimono compared with the past. This is one of the reasons of revival the tradition of wearing kimono. By the way, my daughter runs Airbnb house next to my house and she also serves an Airbnb experience program called Dress Up in Pure Silk Kimono. Many foreign tourists visit us and enjoy wearing beautiful kimonos. These are some photos from this program. The beauty of kimono has been discovered again, both by Japanese young people and by foreign tourists.